All right, check this out. Social login on Member Genius. Right now, it just shows the normal login button. I'll log into this website. I'll go to Member Genius settings. And then we've got uh, these 10 steps that have to go through. Basically, go to Facebook, add an, a website app, call it whatever. Uh, and then they have to um, specify their website, specify the domain. So there's all these steps Facebook makes you go through and then make it public. So I'll just go through the steps we tell them to. So go to Facebook, add new app, website, Dropship CEO and contact email and all that nonsense. Captcha, see waterfalls. So the, our instructions tell them to skip all that stuff and then go to the settings and enter in their app domain, Dropship CEO and then to go and say that this is going to run on a website called Dropship CEO. All right, so we've created that and then we just need to grab the app ID and the app secret. So copy this, put it into the app ID, copy the app secrets, copy into the app secret, change is saved. Now we have it connected to our Facebook app. So then log out and now this login with Facebook buttons here. So they click on this and then it goes through, continue as Robert, okay. Sends me back to the site. It didn't recognize my email, didn't match it up to an existing account. So it's the first time, continue logging in with your existing account. No problem, I'm logged in. Now it recognizes me on Facebook and if I log out again, buttons here I can just one click to log back in and now we're logged back in so the next step is to add this to the registration page but pretty slick right they can log in or use Facebook and boom logged right back in